Hello everyone, this is Ben in the Loop. Subscribe to stay in the loop. Let's try to hit 50 subscribers by the end of the year. So today, we will be talking about probably one of the most promising rappers of the last couple of years, Paulo G. As a rapper, he has a lot going for him. For one, I think, I don't know if I'm alone on this, but his voice is just kind of perfect for music, if that makes sense. It's the same thing with someone like J. Cole, where he can just make a simple melody and make it sound so soothing. Also, he actually has bars compared to his contemporaries, which is kind of like a major selling point from him, is a lot of uh, fans are saying, oh wow, this guy can actually spit compared to everyone else who's just, you know, not being able to rap. So that's another thing that people are saying is his major selling point as a rapper. So, so far, you may be thinking to yourself, what is this guy's problem with Polo G? You seem to be giving him a lot of praise. My simple answer is... You know how I stated earlier that Polo is one of the most promising rappers? That's my exact point. He has so much potential and he hasn't reached it yet. The one thing that separates him from being a good artist to a legendary artist is simply put his beat selection. You may disagree with me when I say this, but Polo really needs to change up his beat selection badly. And I think you know what I'm talking about when I'm talking about that piano on almost all of his beats. And it isn't even really an exaggeration to say that the majority of his beats have pianos. I listened throughout all of his songs on Spotify. I know he has songs released on uh, other platforms, but that's like the mainstream source. Every single song on Spotify, I listened to every single one of them out of the 38 songs. Guess how many of the 38 songs had pianos in them as the main instrument? Out of 38 songs, he had 23 beats with a piano. 23 out of 38 songs. That being said, 11 out of the 14 tracks on Die a Legend had pianos, 8 out of the 16 tracks on The Goat had pianos, and 4 out of his 8 singles had piano beats over them as well. So that makes a grand total of 23 out of the 38 tracks, which is alarming to say the least. I will give him credit where he used almost exclusively piano beats on Die a Legend and now he's only using half of his beats for the GOAT. So I'll give him some credit there, but still 50% of your beats on your biggest album so far is nowhere near where he could be. Don't get me wrong, some of the piano beats are really good and I'm not, I'd be the first to tell you I enjoy some of them. But I just say there's a certain vibe that the piano gives off that is kind of repetitive in a way. And I don't want Polo to end up in a place where DaBaby is, where DaBaby is classified as that artist that makes the same song over and over. I want Polo to be that artist that can make many different vibes. What I'm saying is, is these piano beats kind of limit his versatility as a rapper, where whenever the piano's on, I always get that same vibe of, I come from the struggle, I came from nothing, and it's very melodic and very almost kind of like wearing your heart on your sleeve sort of thing where he could do, be doing a lot more with you know he could be on more upbeat trap beats with something like metro boom and i saw this on twitter where imagine if polo had an entire album produced with metro boom and, and i just imagine him on beats like the beats on without warning like uh ghost face kill is um with uh metro boom and offset and 21 savage just listening to that it just seems like wow imagine if polo was on some of these beats and the thing is, is there's nothing stopping him from working with someone like Metro Boomin. He's one of the most popping artists out right now with tracks like Martin and Gina and 21 and Flex and all these songs on his most recent album. He's doing absolutely crazy numbers. So that's the main problem. He needs to change up his beat style and he can become no longer a good rapper, but an amazing rapper at that. It's the same thing with Eminem, where having good lyrics only gets you so far. If you don't have good production, it basically makes up half your music. So if you have really good lyrics and really good rhyme schemes and flows, if you have a trash beat, then the song's gonna be broken. Not saying that the piano beats are all bad, but a good example would be GNF, because that song had one of the worst beats I've ever heard, where it was just an FL Studio 30 day free trial. That's what I'm saying. But the, the vocal performance was okay, except he sounded like he was like whispering on it, but the vocal performance definitely carried that track. That's all I really have to say. Uh, I don't really know how to wrap up this video. I just want to get my thoughts out there. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe. Let's try to hit 50 subscribers by the end of the year. And yeah, I'll see you guys next video. Uh, let me know what you guys think about Polo G and his beat selection. Of course, this isn't any hate towards him, as I do like a lot of his music. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.